Hey superstars, welcome back to another Through the Mail autograph video where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. But first, I need some cards. So I'm going to my new favorite local card shop, Triple Play Vintage in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, in search of the good stuff. This box of 89 top cello packs will do nicely. Looks good. Do 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 do. This wasn't staged at all. Do do do. But seriously, Triple Play Vintage is very awesome. Hey Cora, I'm very lucky to have them right down the road. Let's do it to it. Here's just what you all want to see. Some beautiful, beautiful junk wax. Memories like the corners of these cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we got. Lots to choose from here. That's why I love these packs so much. But who's it going to be? Arg! How about Hall of Famer Whitey Herzog? Whitey is definitely a superstar in my book. Many of you know I live in Ohio where my baseball team is classified as small market. As a manager in the 80s, Whitey figured out how his small market St. Louis Cardinals could compete with the big boys by playing what they call Whitey Ball. Home runs cost a lot of money, so instead his Cardinals used speed and pitching and defense and hitting that took advantage of the big AstroTurf stadiums of the day. In 1982, the media seemed to think there was something wrong with this brand of baseball as they only hit 67 homers as a team that year, but that didn't stop the Cardinals from winning the World Series against the Harvey Wallbangers. They also made it back to the World Series in 1985 and 1987, so it was pretty rad the way that Whitey changed the game. And it was pretty rad that Mr. Herzog was a bad guy in The Mandalorian. What? Oh. Different Herzog. But you know me, I had to throw a non sequitur in this video somewhere. Whitey's a fairly quick return and requires a small fee. I believe it was five bucks. Well worth it for a game-changing Hall of Famer. All right, let's see what we got. Nice! As usual, I told them to keep the doodle so you know the drill. When I get these doodles back, I send them to Autographs for a Cure so you can buy them and help with cancer research at the same time. I think this one is still available at the time of this posting, so please check it out and check out my friends at Triple Play Vintage on the eBay and the Facebook. And I'll leave links to both of these places in the description below. Thank you Whitey for a great return and thank you so very much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, yada yada yada, and we'll catch you next time.